Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have a haul video for you guys, which is one of my favourite videos to watch. But I have bought a few things that I wanted to show you guys because I went to Westfields yesterday with my mum and bought quite a few bits, um, which is not that good. But I did want to share it with you guys. I do have a bit of makeup and some clothes that I'm going to show you, so it's kind of like a mixed haul. So yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into this video. And the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this uh, new Nip and Fab Hydrate shot it's called the dragon's blood fix hyaluronic shot and i've seen a few people uh, talk about it um i've seen a little london blogger if you guys don't know her go check her out i'll leave a link in the info box she was talking about it and also skin face beauty she did um get quite a few of them recently and i saw her on her snapchat i think and then that just made me just go and get them so um, if you guys don't know Little London Blogger and the Skin Face Beauty you guys need to go check them out I'll leave a link to their blogs um, in the info box but anyways I did get this it was an offer for $12.99 instead of like $25 I think they're kind of pricey but um, I because they weren't offer I definitely need to get them so it says it's intense hydration concentrate with 50% hyaluronic solution so hyaluronic acid is kind of like a um, a moisture magnet kind of ingredient it, it helps to keep the moisture in your skin so anything with hyaluronic acid in there or, or hi something hyaluronic I'm just all for it so um, I had to get this I have used this last night and this morning so far so good there's no blemishes or breakouts on my skin and um, it does have a men's scent however so I'm not too fond of that but if it's gonna do good for my skin I'm not too bothered it does um, feel quite nice like very luxurious um, and it does give a tacky feel to your skin, which I don't mind, but I feel like you wouldn't wear, I wouldn't wear it on its own. I would definitely put a moisturiser on top and it does say to either mix it with your moisturiser or just use it by itself at night time or something. But I would definitely recommend it with moisturiser. So this is what it looks like. It comes with like a little pump thingy here and it's like a pipette really. By the way guys, I have filmed a tutorial on this makeup look. I did not wear the same lip though in the makeup tutorial I did use a brighter colour because I wanted it to be a monochromatic kind of Valentine's look so that will be up later on like in a couple of days or so um, but I did use this so you'll see this guy in action but yeah so far I'm really really liking it I did also have to go get some face sponges because I ran out and with these I use them like a few times and then I just throw them away but these soft cosmetic sponge wedges from Boots they're really really good they're like $1.95 for like 5 in there I really really like this to blend my concealer out and also bake underneath my eyes um, I use this all the time and I only recently started using them and then when they ran out I kind of found myself being like okay I need them now so I went and got some more so I definitely recommend this especially for baking from Boots as well I did also pick up some Feet face wax strips they have a new formula now it says it's got an easy gel kind of thing why isn't my camera focusing so that's what that's this is the one that i always always get i really recommend this one my eyebrows were going all over the place lately and my moustache as well so i definitely had to get some more and get rid of all the facial hair so yeah and i really like these to shape my brows on top because i get so much hair here and i just shape my brows and i just pluck underneath and i don't do anything else to them because i feel like every time i get them threaded they always mess up my brows so i just do them by myself now next thing that i got is the soap and glory two in one brow filling pencil and brush i kind of lost the first one that i had and yeah I had to get a new one because I actually really really love this. I definitely would say this is a huge dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil. It has the same concept and the pigmentation is amazing and I always get dark chocolate. Now Boots has got it wrong on their website. It's, it doesn't say dark chocolate. It says something like brownie points or something like that. Like I don't know but it's wrong because on the Soap and Glory website it's dark chocolate so the Boots website has got it wrong so yeah. This is a shade I always get. I'm showing you because some of you have mentioned this error with the name, so I thought I'll show you guys. So it's definitely dark chocolate. And all the small boots never seem to have that shade. I always have to go to central London to be able to get that shade because I never find it near me, so I thought I'd pick that one up. So for the first time ever, me and my mum did go into the Kiko store and 
Oh my god, like, I did not know they had so many products. I really wanted to get the eyeshadow that everyone's been using as a highlighter, but I, they had it out of stock, so I couldn't get that. But I really wanted to try one of their foundations, because my friend Zahara has um, tried their foundations, and she said it's really good, so I had to get, get one. And, oh my god, first thing of all, for some reason it smelled so nasty in that store, like, I'm not even joking, like, when you went to the skincare corner bit, it actually smelled nasty, but I got the shade... WB90 now I did the girl the girl that helped me was lovely like I wasn't fussed like because I was already getting frustrated at the people that kept stopping me like those sales people in the middle of those shops like I just kept saying no and they just kept insisting for me to talk to them and I was like no and then they insisted and I was just like getting really annoyed but anyways I just asked the girl could you just show me my color because I couldn't find it and then she literally gets what color out and she tries it on my face without even asking me and I was like I don't really want to do it and she's like well we could and the, but you have to do it on your face and I'm just like no you don't but then she put it on my face and I'm just like why are you putting it on my face when I didn't want it to but she actually matched me to the wrong shade I was like can I try the shade darker to the one that she tried and that was the right she gave me a really pinky one so guys if you're a makeup artist always ask the person first if they want makeup on their face because i think that's very very important because i work on a makeup counter and i always ask the person if they want me to put the makeup on their face and if they don't that's fine i'll just do it on their hand i just think it's important to ask because not all everyone wants makeup on their face and that day it was just not in the mood i just wanted the foundation and i just wanted to go really so i did get the universal fit hydrating foundation in the shade wb90 and obviously i got the hydrating one because i have dry skin and i will obviously be wearing this um for a bit and then i'll do a review on on it and i'll let you guys know what i think of it but this was 6.90 so super affordable so i'm really excited and i really hope that it will work out on my skin i then went to beauty base in westfield and picked up a couple of things the first thing is the milani amore matte lip cream in gosh in covet it's like a brown colour. I'll probably do a tutorial with this one day or wear it one day and show you guys. But it's like a deep brown. It's like all taped up. Let me try and open it for you guys. That's the shade right there. It's a super deep true chocolate brown. And then the next thing that I got is the Milani Bare Necessities Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Collection Palette. And I just really like the dark brown that's in there, super pigmented, and the gold. And I feel like I could use that as a highlight, but I'll probably do a tutorial with this soon. So, yeah, I picked that up. That was £10. I believe the uh, Milani liquid lipstick was £7.99 or something like that. So I did also go to Debenhams, and I was looking at all the Too Faced stuff, but I was actually talking myself about not spending more money. But I came across this lip colour from Black Up Makeup. But it's basically a makeup brand for darker skin tones and I just picked up this colour for some reason and literally this is what it looks like I literally saw this tip and I picked it up and swatched it and that's what it looks like I absolutely that would be my true nude colour and it's a matte lip crayon and I would say that's a definite dupe for like Kylie uh, Jenna brown sugar lip kit but it's still 1750 so it's still on the high end side so but it's a, if you're looking for something that's easily accessible then I definitely recommend this because obviously when you buy Kylie cosmetics you have to pay for customs and shipping and all that but the black up you can get it from here and if you're looking for a similar color to brown sugar definitely recommend that because it's really really pretty I actually ran out of my uh, cleanser so I got another one it's the Bobbi Brown soothing cleansing oil I absolutely love this one I don't know why I just love how like it just feels very luxurious and it just it does the job nicely doesn't give me breakouts and since I've been using all my Bobbi Brown stuff my skin has seriously improved like so much so definitely recommend this it's a 200ml bottle and it lasts me for like two months so yeah then I wanted to try the Hydrating Intense Night Cream. Focus. So yeah, that's what it comes in. And I have to mention that it smells it smells really, really good as well. It has like a semi-sweet scent, so 
definitely love this i wore it last night and my skin is no breakouts or anything I, last night i did use this first the nip and fab hydrate shot and then i used this on top and i feel like it looks like it feels really good on the skin so yeah i did order a few things from superdrug online because they had this 20 percent off no they didn't have 20 percent off it was an in-store thing but i really wanted to get a couple things which was basically these slay all day lip kits uh, by Lottie London. These were again recommended by Skin Face Beauty. I read her blog, I saw the swatches and I had to order them, order them straight away. And again like when I read about these on her blog, like literally so straight to the point, t talks about the um, finish, like how they feel on the lips and the prices and the colours and she just lays it out so simple and easy to read. That's why I definitely love like, like recommend her blog so yeah i had to get these and she's always keeping me up to date with new things so. but i will do a swatch video on these and tell you guys how they feel on the lips and they're just basically brownie colors i won't swatch them now because i will swatch them in a f in a future video which will probably be like a monday next monday because i really want to get this up for you guys but yeah these were around eight pounds each so super affordable lip kits and i'm actually wearing one today i'm wearing the hashtag tbt one it's a really nice colour, but I'll, you guys have, will have to wait for the video to see what I think about it. And then the last makeup item that I got is the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. I posted this on my Snapchat. I was like, I'm going to go hunt for this. I found it on the Superdrug website, which is actually so hard to find things on the Superdrug website. But I found it and it is more on the gold side, to be honest. It's very gold, but it looks so pretty. Like... I, when I saw this, I just really wanted it. I've already got highlighter on there. I didn't change the colour. I'm like proper packing it on right now. Yeah, so it's definitely more on the gold side. But I actually really like it because I feel like gold highlighters suit me more and they don't give me that ashy look to my skin. I really like that. And these are like super affordable they were like this was like three pounds so definitely recommend this i got the shade gold addict and i think someone recommended this color to me on snapchat but anyways i do really love this so that's all the makeup and now i'm going to jump onto the clothes and i got a few jumpers from h m this one is i'm actually wearing one and it's this uh, cold shoulder ribbed jumper and it's just very simple and very good quality i feel like i'm not showing it very well but i'll probably insert clips but it's very very comfortable and i feel like the cut of this is really nice as well i also got another ribbed jumper that looks like this super simple and it feels very good quality as well and i needed a black one i don't remember the prices but i will link them in the info box if you guys are interested so i did get another one in this dusty pink kind of color this is feels very this feels very thick and good quality. I had to get the size L in this one because they didn't have it in stock and this was originally $24.99 and I had my eye on it for a while but it was reduced to like $14.99 so I had to get it. I did not care if it was an L because I know it'll probably shrink in the machine anyway. So I got the L but it's very very nice. I then got this khaki rib jumper as well and this one has like these two little buttons on the top and they're all ribbed basically because I just I feel like ribbed jumpers fit my figure better I don't like any other type of jumpers because they just make me look so big like big armed I have big arms so I don't like baggy jumpers because they just literally make me look so big but I still have baggy jumpers anyway but I just really like these these ones because they fit me better but yeah this is just a simple khaki one and then finally I got like a cream kind of ribbed jumper. Um, I feel like this would be see-through though. Yeah, I'll probably have to have a top underneath this because I think it's a bit see-through. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And then the last and final thing that I wanted to show you guys is this Zara coat that I got. It's like a biker jacket kind of thing that's what it looks like and I really love it like once I tried it I just got it straight away because it's so nice and I'll probably insert a clip of me wearing it but this is in a shade M and if the fur is like all inside and 
trust me this keeps you warm like and it just it looks really nice i just think it looks really nice and this was 89 pounds um wish they had student discount but they don't but it definitely feels like very very good quality so yeah that's all i bought well not all that's quite a lot to be honest and i should be on a spending ban from now on but thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this haul video make sure to leave me any suggestions of what you would like to see next i will have a tutorial on this look with a different colour um, up in a couple of days I would say Saturday and then on Monday I will have the lip swatches for the Lottie London liquid lipsticks um, but yeah those are the few videos that are coming up soon but let me know what you guys want to see and what kind of Valentine's looks you want to see and um, make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and I shall see you in my next video bye